how am I feeling about this season so far? I, I, I think it is more than what I expected. It's very, very good, hey? Yeah. I think it's hella sweaty, bro. That too, yeah. Because so I think, sweaty. like, all, like, for example, players like you have been playing, bro. You guys know the map, you know what you need to be doing. You're applying also, like, building, building strategy to the game and stuff mm, like that. Even though it's whereas, zero like, true. Exactly. Whereas with players like me, I'm still playing, like, I mean, the previous season, like I'm you're still, in <laughs> yeah, I'm still pushing fights, yeah. I'm still not like doing the whole fought out and stuff like that. Yeah, nah, that'll, that, that you'll see, that comes with it. I just want to rush, bro, I'm going to rush and Let shoot, kill shotgun, these busters. <laughs> shotgun someone in the face, bro. And then the worst <laughs> part about that is you'll get one and then the teammate is Yo, behind you. Yo, because he's 14. Exactly. Yeah. What I'm noticing about this season is it's very much a long range game. Yeah, 100%. The snipers, one shotting. Let's actually go find somewhere uh, to sit so we can have a young chat. Let's do it, bro. Like, what you thinking? Wait, 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 wait. Mm, two spots. Dirty? Or one of these islands, maybe? One of the islands. I think Dirty. If anyone's there, we can try and fight them. Oh, wait, let's go. But I like the map, bro. I feel like there's still games to explore. Do you think Chapter it's bigger or smaller than the previous map? Glory. I think it's about the same, maybe more or less the same size. Because when I was running around, I was like, sheesh, I feel like I'm running forever. Forever, bro. The green spaces in between. Yeah. The bosses is an interesting take, bro. Why, bro? Were there bosses in Chapter 2? There was Midas in all of was bosses. Uh, so, say, they were. Both there was Midas. I see. And then would you, were you able to the, hire them? them. And... No, you wouldn't be able to hire them. That's why I'm saying it's an interesting take, bro. They're not dropping medallions, they're not dropping anything. So you just hire them and drop them. Just. I see. But there were vaults, the vaults were there. Hold up bro, let's go here to your right. What is this? Wait. Behind you? The blue thing. What is that actually? There's actually a, a person here. Like an NPC. Oh, it's undercover star. You look lost. I look lost. Why are you here? This is where I pick up my free spaghetti with the purchase of a chainsaw. What? She has a fresh gun though, check her gun, a scar. Oh, nice one. If you haven't seen any spaghetti or chainsaws, all we can do is get up and go. What is she referencing? What is she talking? I know the spaghetti is obviously M&M's, mom's spaghetti thing. Chainsaw is Leatherface. Yep. I think it's a dope place to have a chat. In the rocks. Do, 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 do. Yeah, this emote is far away. Right. <laughs> But we just need to uh, let Bro, so recently I've discovered something called ominous positivity and I've low-key been obsessed with it. Ominous positivity, bro. So let me read you some things that I've seen and then... Oh, I don't even need to read a definition. I just need to read these things. I think you'll, you'll catch on immediately. So, um, happiness is approaching. You can't escape it. Better days are coming. It's too late now. You're so stronger than... forcing it. yourself to be positive. Evil positivity, bro. How do I explain like dark positivity? When you say that, bro, it's like a certainty that everything will turn out fine, even when we're faced with difficult situations, bro. So like in this one, you are, I cracked myself when I read this one, bro. It was, you're stronger than you think. It's terrifying. Yo. Oh god damn! I think I might have one. Happiness is coming. You can't escape. No way. You see what I'm saying, bro? I get you. you. I totally get you. You can't outrun your own smile. Yo, ominous positivity, I think I might just freaking get into that one. You're obsessed with it, bro. Your success is inevitable. Don't it's bother trying like to sabotage it. It lit bro, literally like stoicism. It's like stoicism and nihilism put together, bro. Because nihilism is like accepting the fact that, you know what? The world's going to end and everything's going to end. But that should make you stronger and more positive because that knowledge should be freeing. That's what nihilism is. Let me read you another two more, bro. Growth is a force that cannot be stopped. Um, you'll move forward even when you think you're standing still. Oof, that's a nice one. Progress is your only constant. This one was also a pretty funny word. Take care of yourself or else. <laughs> that's all oh, I got, bro. But it's, it's pretty dope, bro. It's, uh, it's, pretty, it's pretty sick. I ran across it, I think, on TikTok or something. Bro. And I was just like, what? This makes sense. Like, genuinely, bro, happiness is approaching. You can't stop that shit, bro. Even if you're going to be sad for the next few days, it's still happiness is still coming, bro. True. There's nothing you can do about it. Nope. Literally, you can't be shit. You're going to be happy, bro. And also, like, you can't run away from your own smell, bro. Like, no matter how hard you try smell, it's going to make you smile, bro. Yep. 
Even if it's internally, really? you're still gonna serve. Part of me wants to shoot this chick, bro, because she has a lit gun. She does, eh? Mm -hmm. We look here even as to go closer to Storm. Yep. And find a better place to sit. Let's go. Lit. Yo, but I wanna take, okay. 